Lion, Oyster and the Pearl The guy and the girl Why did that? You got a perfect match Yes, it's perfect match Now welcome the star of our show, Greg Evans Thank you. Thanks very much. Hi, everybody in the audience and to you at home as well. Wherever you may be around Australia, we thank you for your company on this Friday night. Hope uh, we can all look forward to a good weekend. And, of course, that means we're sending our dates away tomorrow. So let's get them ready to get their bags packed, eh? We'll start the show by introducing the first three. And to do that, here's Debbie. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hi. Big, big weekend coming up, Deb. Yes. Big weekend. Got lots planned. Well... Too much to mention. No, no, not really. Not that much, actually. I'm just going to shampoo the carpets, if that sounds exciting. No, it's... Uh... <laughs> what are you going to do? Oh, I don't know. I thought I might go walk the dog and... Uh... Oh, lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Very domestic, aren't we? Deb, uh, please tell us about these three lovely ladies. OK, first up is an apprentice saddler whose star sign is Libra, Sonia Fardell. Hello, Sonia. Nice to see you. Also born under the Libra star sign, the Clark. Linda Brady. Hi, Linda. Welcome to the show. And the Gemini, who works as a secretary, Pam Hannington. Welcome, Pam. Thanks, Dad. Thank you. Good luck. Indeed. OK, number one, tell us more about yourself, please. Well, I work as a saddler at London Derry, and I also play drums. I'd love to be a drummer as mm. a profession in mm. a few years' time. So you make saddles? Yep, stock saddles and bridles and all sorts of leather gear for horses. Make whips? <laughs> no, 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 it's no spurs, whips, or any of that sort of thing. <laughs> and you're into being a drummer. Yep, I spend all my spare time either mm. seeing live music or mm. listening to music. Thank goodness home. our single can't hear all this. That's very relevant. Number two. Well, I like snow skiing and just keeping active. Okay, number three. I like travelling, and also I like going out and seeing live bands. Seeing live bands, That's also very relevant. Okay, girls, thanks for coming on the show, and good luck to you all tonight. Please tell us all about the man that awaits in the wings for one of these ladies. Right there, Greg, our first single's a rock journalist and theatrical agent. His interest in music and modelling, it's Rod Iron. Good day, Rod. Hi, Well, thanks. How are you? Good. Fighting, fighting. A bit of snow in your hair still, though. Frosty outside. Frosty outside. <laughs> now, Rod, um, uh, you didn't hear anything that the girls said, of course. You of course had the rock music on. Rock music. You manage a rock band, don't you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which, which one? IQ. IQ. Really lucky. Great. So happy. What, you or them? Well, you all are. Oh, everything's going well for you. Actually, you've been overseas with them. Uh, not myself, but the band has, yeah. Mm. Ken Davis, who's, uh, who's the, like, the main figure in the band, has been to Japan and oh, USA. Right. OK. A couple of these ladies here are into music, so it uh, could be a great match coming up. Right, have a seat. OK. Let me tell you about the rules. Uh, <laughs> yes, very simple. You ask a series of questions, select the answers that most appeal to you. At the end of the round, we'll give you 10 seconds to think about those answers, and hopefully you'll choose a perfect match. Okay. Rod, first question number one, please. Okay, number one. What do some men do for you that leaves you thinking they're sensational? Well, I love a good massage. If a guy can give me a really nice massage, that's it. I'm... <laughs> leaves you sensational. What do some men do for you that leaves you thinking that they're sensational? Number two. Well, I'd say if they ran me a nice hot bubble bath and then offered to wash my back, I'd think they were pretty sensational. Right. <laughs> and number three. Oh, if they gave me a lingering kiss and a cuddle, good night. Oh, a lingering kiss and cuddle. Rod, what's going through your mind? Oh. All of those three <laughs> rolled into one. Ah, oh, dear idea. Mm. Are you into lingering kisses, good massages or bubble baths? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, we can wait for you, Rod. Yes. Um, we were thinking about moving along with the show. Uh, which one would I you think, like? Um... No, well, actually, um, it's, mate, it's so hard. It's so hard. Bubble bath. Bubble bath it's number two gets the bath. first match tonight. And your next question to number two, please, Rod. OK. Number two, do you think you could describe to me what you think is a normal male? Number two. <laughs> question too hard, number two. <laughs> Can you best describe what you think is a normal male? Uh, someone with all limbs intact, I'd say, would be pretty normal. With a, yes. Good answer. <laughs> number three, can you please uh, describe for us what you think is a normal male? Uh, someone that enjoys good food, sleeping in, and having a good time when they go out. Mm. <laughs> Lingering kisses, sleeping in. Number one. 
Uh, well, I think all men are individuals, so it's a bit hard, but I would think that most men would enjoy a nice challenge. Uh, the normal male would enjoy a challenge. Rod, what do you got to say? Oh, number one, gets it straight number away. Number one, challenge. gets a match there. Yeah. Yeah. A nice challenge appeals to Rod, and your next question, sure please, to contestant number three, Rod. Okay, tell me what is the one thing I'd like most about you? <laughs> oh, um, my blue eyes <laughs> and my long hair and, oh, anything else is up to your imagination. <laughs> mm -hmm. Number one, can you tell Rod the, uh, the one thing that would most, uh, well, that he'd like most about you? Well, I think I'm pretty easy to get on with. I get on with most people and I'm pretty friendly. Easy to get on with. Number two. Well, I've been told I've got a pretty weird sense of humour, so I have to say the sense of humour. Sense of humour. Uh, Rod. Difficult people annoy me at times. Easy to get on with, number one. Number one gets another match there. Two matches for number one. Rod, there's the bell. Ooh, you've got a big tough decision, haven't you? Two matches with number one, one with number two. Here's ten seconds for you to hopefully choose your perfect match. What do you think, Rod? Well, I think number one. Number one wins the day. Let me tell you about the other two girls, Rod. First of all, contestant number two is a clerk at a hospital. No, sorry, a clerk at a retail store, and she enjoys snow skiing. Please say hello to Linda Brady. And contestant number three works as a secretary to Lefinist. And she likes gold panning and she likes live bands. Say hi to Pam Pennington. Right, are you chose contestant number one? Down to the heart light number one. Walk this way, Rod. Let's have a look. This young lady that you've chosen for your first date. This young lady, um, <clears throat> she's an apprentice saddler at the moment. And she likes uh, playing the drums and she likes horse riding as well. And she wants to be a professional muso. Sort of sounds like it fits to me. Uh, Rodney, please meet Sonia Fadell. Wonderful, wonderful, I can tell you, yes, instantly uh, appealing at first sight. For you to get to know each other better, your first date's a ripper. You're off to Queensland to the Anchorage Village. <laughs> yes, what well, Sonia, there isn't a better way to be pampered than by joining luxury accommodation on North Stradbroke Island's Anchorage Village Beach Resort. Sail the clear crystal waters of the South Pacific and discover local attractions as you buzz around in your own motor scooter. As dusk falls, you'll enjoy the mouth-watering delights of the Quarterdeck Restaurant, where seafood platters are a specialty. A genuine resort where the aim is to give you a truly superb holiday and you'll fly in style enjoying the six-star service of Anzan Airlines of Australia and Anchorage Village Beach Resort. Fantastic prize there. Now, Sonia, you want to be a professional drummer? Drummer, yep. And Rod, uh, you're a manager of a rock band? I, yeah. Do you think maybe you could handle Sonia um, as Rod, a manager? See how she goes. Yes, see put her on the books. Plays. Is she the perfect match? If so, you both win. This is a bonus prize. This portable stereo radio cassette recorder combines good looks with great sound. The latest in portable stereos, JVC TV quality with reliability. Okay, we both the ladies. By the way, what star sign are you? I'm a Leo, man. A Leo. Will that make a perfect match? Please welcome Dexter. Well, uh, good evening, Leo. Uh, we've all made mistakes with romance before, Rod, and have you made the right choice? Mm -hmm. Well, with a compatibility score of 73%, your perfect match is Pam Hennington. Pam over there, Rod. Well... Never mind, you're up to Queensland tomorrow. So tomorrow. pack your bags tonight and get ready for the big trip. Rod <laughs> and Sonia, have a lovely day. We uh, will take a break now and we'll come back with a couple who have just returned from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland. Thank you very much. Welcome back to Perfect Match. And here we go. Uh, last time this week to find out how our dates went last weekend. Leah Norman and Brett Vorlis are the couple we would like to reintroduce to you. There they are when they first met on the show, and bingo, they were the perfect match. Geronimo struck gold. We sent them off to the um, Surf Air Hotel at Maruchidor for them to do all the wonderful things that you can do up north. Swinging time together. Here they are coming across the bridge, coming across the bridge together, doing all sorts of good things. Let's find out whether they actually got on together as we welcome them back. Here's Leah and Brett. <laughs> Walking hand in hand. 
good sign. Oh, I'm surprised. Thank you for that. Hello. How are you? Um, Leo, um, <clears throat> do you think the date worked out? Yes, definitely. It was great. We had a fantastic weekend. Mm. Mm. What about you, Brett? Yeah, it was a great time. What I was the fun. nicest moment for you? Oh, I'd have to say dinner. It was really good. Dinner? Yeah, it was great. Oh, and the company and... The, the company, of course. <laughs> yes. Okay. When these two returned, uh, as usual, we took them aside to try and probe into what really happened on that date. We started by asking what they thought of each other when the screen first slid back. Spunky, great, really good looking. <laughs> Just what I wanted. He wasn't what, quite what I expected. I thought he may have been a little bit taller. He had a, a very nice voice and the voice didn't seem to fit the person. OK, but after the weekend away, what do they think of each other now? Very attractive, easy going. Fun to be with, I think, and uh, great to hold. <laughs> I like him a lot. I think he's a really fun sort of guy. She's just a great girl. She's really pretty. I really like her. We hit it off really well. Oh, he's got a great personality. Really, really good fun. She's very appealing in more ways than one. And physically, what attracted them to each other? Uh, the colour of his hair, yeah, and his blue eyes. Uh, my height, I think. Maybe my big brown eyes and blonde hair, too. <laughs> her face. She's got a very warm face. And she's got an infectious smile. I love her smile. Make you laugh. Now, Dexter said that this couple was a perfect match. Do they think he was right? Yeah, I think he was, yeah. Yes, I think Dexter was right. It was a perfect match. Oh, bring out the violins. Oh, everything was just... Perfect. The company was perfect. The food was perfect. The it was. date was perfect. It was great. Yeah, well, couldn't have asked you, for better. Why aren't you holding hands? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> good. Um, when, when are you getting married? <laughs> How many kids would you think you might have? Oh, um, oh. <laughs> Twelve. 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 Uh, all right. Uh, will you be seeing each other again? Perhaps more to the point. Yes, definitely. Yes, definitely. We've already seen each other since the weekend, and we're seeing. We've got plans to see each other again. Yeah. Beautiful. The relationship yeah. is blossoming. <laughs> for coming back, we have this as a gift for you both. For me, the stylish. Hip length leather jacket with mandarin collar and for Brett, the soft Spanish leather jacket and saddle colour, both from City Girl Fur. Oh, okay. Well, I can only wish you luck in the future. I hope everything works out just the way you want it to. Thanks, Greg. Good Thank on. you. Thanks for coming back and sharing that with us. <laughs> we'll uh, take a quick break now and we'll be right back with another game of Perfect Match straight after this. a choice of gold or silver jewellery from the magnificent Chantal collection and our glass jewellers and for the girls this clutch purse wanted and matching key case from Harden. Okay, one more pair to match up for this week. That's right. Deb, interested in this box. Okay, contestant number one is a travelling jack of all trades. Greg, please say hello to Mark Gallien. Hi Mark, welcome to the show. Next we have a trainee accountant, Michael Turner. Hello Michael. David Williams. Welcome, David. Thank you, Dave. Thank you. Good luck. Okay. Number one, sort of uh, construction worker on the move, eh? Yes, I've been uh, in Queensland the last two years and I worked at Club Pacific and the resort and Grundy's and uh, I'm on my way back home to Melbourne and I'm visiting friends in Sydney on the way. Right, so I'm Meandra. And uh, number two, you look like a live wire. <laughs> Tell us about yourself. Yeah, I live, lead a very active life, Greg. I enjoy playing rugby union and touch football for the Wackers. For the Wackers? Yes. Where do the Wackers hang out? Uh, Picton District. Sorry? Picton District. Picton. Right. <laughs> Number three, what's your story? Well, I'm um, a records clerk uh, for a legal firm. I like uh, bushwalking, I like sailing, um, diving, and uh, just having a good time and enjoying myself. Good on you. Thanks for coming on the show tonight, fellas. Good luck to you all. This uh, little lady out the back is very pretty. Max, please tell us all about it. Right, Greg, our second single tonight to dental nurse who loves most water sports, music and ballet. A big welcome for Janelle Davis. Oh, hello, Janelle. <laughs> a dental nurse. Mm, yes. Happy? Yeah, very. How come you haven't got a man in your life? He moved away. Oh, did he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do in your spare time? Um, mostly anything, really. Mm -hmm. I enjoy... Things outside. And what do you mean, things outside? <laughs> Sports outside. You collect things and, or what? Uh, wind chimes. You, oh, you collect wind chimes? Yeah. Interesting collection. Isn't it? <laughs> I suppose every morning you wake up and pray for wind, do you? So, um, so no, not really, because they wake me up if it's too windy. Oh, yes. 
Can I have a seat anyway? And uh, you know the rules of the show, Janelle. Uh, you can ask your first question straight to contestant number one. Contestant number one. What's the one daydream you have about girls that really you really hope comes true? My dream is to uh, meet a matching woman and take her on the trip of her life overseas. Mm -hmm. And number two, what's the one daydream that you have about girls that you really hope comes true? Hopefully I'd meet someone financially stable and they'd let me invest <coughs> their uh, money wisely. Are you financially stable? Uh, on and off I am. <laughs> Payday. <laughs> And number three, what's your thoughts on that? The well, daydream that you'd like to uh, come true? Well, I'd like to make a success of my life and also make the person that, that I'm with uh, successful in, our, um, in the way we uh, share our lives together. Mm. Janelle? Um, <laughs> um, I think contestant number three, I'd like to be successful too. Number three gets the first match. And to now your next uh, question to contestant number two, please. Contestant number two, what is your most offbeat character trait? I think it's my spontaneous sense of humour. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, number three, what is your uh, most offbeat character trait? I just um, try not to put on an act uh, what type of person I am, just be myself. Be yourself, yes, good. And number one. I have a terrible habit sometimes of uh, trying to mimic people when the opportunity arises. Mm -hmm. Janelle, what's your offbeat characteristic trait that you can relate to? Uh, when I'm talking to people with accents, I usually start talking with an accent too, so number one. A mimic. <laughs> number one scores an act. Right, our next question to number three, please, Janelle. Contestant number three, in what way do you as a man like to indulge yourself? Number three. This will be good. Um, I like to um, indulge in nature and finding out what nature has got to give man and uh, to share the, the joys of nature with somebody who's nature loving. Yes, uh, we, uh, we generally get the nature of your answer there. Uh, number, uh, number one. I would like to... Uh, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> In what way do you as a man like to indulge yourself? <laughs> I'd like to uh, have a trip... Um... <laughs> no, I'd like to have a, a well-balanced evening uh, or a well-balanced day with the girl of my choice. Oh, I'm glad you put a lot of thought into that answer. <laughs> Uh, who has an answer? Number two, you can have a crack at this one. <laughs> Thanks very much, Greg. Uh, I'd like to make sure the lady in my life is very happy and she is, she's my number one. Oh. <laughs> Janelle. I'd like to be really happy. Number two, thank you. Yeah, number two. Okay, there it is, Janelle. The bell's gone and you've had a match apiece. They've all scored one point each. Ten seconds for you to hopefully choose your perfect partner. Well, Janelle, tough decision when you make a match a piece. What's going through your mind? Um, mm. <laughs> I mm. don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Just that certain nothing going through your mind at the moment, huh? Uh, they all sound pretty good put together. Yeah? <laughs> you want to take all three? Um, number one. Number one! <laughs> number one's got the date. <laughs> Sit down, number one. <laughs> Well, he's happy about it, to say the least. Janelle, uh, let me tell you about the other two fellas. First of all, contestant number two is a trainee accountant who plays rugby. Please meet Michael Turner. <laughs> Good on you, Mike. And contestant number three is a legal records clerk who enjoys horse riding and bushwalking. This is David Williams. Hello. Good on you, Dave. And contestant number one, down to the hard light, prepare to meet your date. Janelle, walk this way. Righto. Why did you choose number one? No, don't answer that. <laughs> We've got to go soon. Uh, he's uh, been working around the country for two years. He enjoys all sorts of things, including surfing. Janelle Davis, please meet Mark Gallien. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. What do you 
think, man? Yeah, she's tough. <laughs> what do you think? Do you know? It's relief. <laughs> relief. <laughs> <I> relief. <laughs> We're sending you back up north. It's where you come from, but probably not on a yacht. You're off cruising the Whit Sunday Passage. Oh, <laughs> this is a holiday with a difference. A complete change of pace, offering an experience up south on land. Sail at leisure through the crystal clear waters of the Whit Sunday Passage, exploring uninhabited islands, spectacular coral reefs, and secluded beaches. Drop anchor in a quiet bay, cool off in the calm waters. Then enjoy the balmy tropical evenings in your own private hideaway. Each yacht is fully equipped to ensure absolute safety and maximum fun. Your weekend's a perfect match of sailing and flying with all the six-star servers of the Anzen Airlines of Australia people and with Sunday Renty Yacht. All right, beautiful first strike. We'll be right back after this break to find out if they're going as the perfect match. Suspense, wondering whether uh, Janelle and Mark were the perfect match, and if you are, you'll both win this prize. For the perfect match, you'll each receive a superb scratch proof Rado watch, a classic timepiece from the animators and watch design Rado from Our Glass Jordans. Beautiful prize there. Let's hope you can get it. Are they the perfect match? Here's Dexter to tell us. Well, have you made the right choice, Janelle? Hmm? Well, you're now going to find out because with a competitive MB score of 75%, your perfect match is Mark Gallion! <laughs> A bit carried away, I think. Uh, <laughs> good on you, Marky boy. Yeah, you hang right in there. And we'll say good night to Debbie and Dexter. Bye, Greg. Have a great weekend. See you on Monday. Bye, Thanks for joining us. See you next week. Bye. This has been the Grundy Television Production in association with Network. Tell Australia. Thanks for speaking.